Setting up the Analog Discovery Waveform software to playback an audio file is actually a pretty easy thing to do. In this demonstration, what I want to do is show you how you can use the Waveform software to generate a, an, or to playback an audio file that has been captured and stored in Wave format. Wave format is one of the standard Windows file formats. Once we've got it playing back, in this particular case we're going to send it off to the BeagleBone, which is then going to echo it back out. I'll show you how you can actually then measure the latency of what's going on with a software package as well. So first off, let's get started by generating or actually playing back our WAV file. So what we want to do is we want to start waveforms up and get to the screen, and we want to go on to the WaveGen screen. The WaveGen screen normally will start up blank like you've got right here. And what we want to do is we want to click on this Import tab. This Import tab will then take us to a directory, and I can import, in this case, WAV files, MP3s, or WMA files. I have a file that I've provided you called a click track, which is a WAV file. We'll start that playing here, or import it. Here you can see the way the click track looks in terms of the long time frame of it. What it is, it's a 10 second sample. There are basically clicks at diminishing levels, like so, so it sounds like essentially a drumstick click. And then there is a a blank period right here towards the end where there's nothing of silence. And at the, as the track repeats, there's actually one spot in the audio that is a little bit louder, and that's where we've essentially got a section that is just for timing purposes so we can tell what's going on. So I can see the count of this is 441,001 samples. The sample rate is 44.1 kilohertz, and the time span is entered in here. All this comes automatically from the system. So what I'll do is, now that I've got this imported, I'll click this on. This generates, essentially, the playback track that we'll see. And then what I want to do is I'm going to just simply start it running. And so it is playing back. It is being generated. Now, what I'd like to do is actually take and see this being generated and measure it within the oscilloscope. So what I have set up, and I'll show you a picture of this in a moment of how the wiring is set up. Basically I've got an input from the BeagleBone going, or the BeagleBone sound card, going to the analog discovery headphone jack. That's providing an input signal into the BeagleBone sound card that we've got attached. From the output of the sound card, I'm taking that over to a breakout board and on the breakout board, then, I'm going to feed that into a line, I'm ca or connecting up with, with cable, to a line that's then allowing me to capture that with the oscilloscope input. The output of the oscilloscope is then also, or the output of the waveform generation is also going into the oscilloscope line, and I've got that being fed back. So I've got on channel 1, my initial signal that's being generated, which you're seeing on the screen. Channel 2 is the playback of the beagle bone after it's basically captured this audio and then sent it back out. So let's set this up. So I'm going to go into, back to the waveforms, and what I want to do is I want to switch on to the oscilloscope. So on the oscilloscope, I'm going to set this base setting here to one second per division, which is what it actually is right now, and I'm going to turn channel 1 and channel 2 on. And then I'm going to start this running. So you can see right now, the yellow that is showing up on the screen is the click track being played back. Here's where it repeated, and you see these two click tracks really quickly together. And then you can see the blue line that there's nothing. That's because right now I don't have my software running on my beagle bone that's causing it to echo the signal back. So what I'm going to do is switch over to my beagle bone connection here, whichever window I need to be in, which is this one right here, and I'm going to start it running. So it is now going to be running, and if we go back over to the waveform software, we can see the signal here. And we can see there's a delay. You notice this occurred right here. This was when it was played back. This between here 
and here is latency and of course we can measure that. Now we can zoom in with the position and timing and scaling and all those kind of things and stop the display playback. Any of those things we can do to actually go about measuring what's going on in the system with a much more accurate thing. Um, but right now I just wanted to show you essentially how to get the preliminary setup done. So at this point I've shown you how you can actually set up the waveform software to play back a wave file and also how you can capture that waveforms file that's going out as well as the audio file that's played back in an echo format. So that's going to bring this tutorial to a close.